Would you like to learn how to fence? Finding the right place to get started can be a little confusing. If you don't already know something about it, you might not even know what questions to ask. I've been a professional fencing master, a teacher of the sort, for more than 40 years, so I think I might be able to help you out with that. Here's a five-step plan you can follow. First thing you have to do is to ask yourself, why do I want to do this? What's my goal? What is it I want? What do I want to accomplish? What do I want to experience? Who do I want to be? Your why is the how of your what. There's a whole lot of people out there slinging swords around for all kinds of different reasons. You have to know the difference between them because those differences are not trivial. If you get into the wrong group, you're not going to be happy. They're not going to be happy. Ain't nobody got time for that. Some are into fantasy role playing. Some are doing historical reenactment. Some are doing stage combat. Some are all about competition. Some are all about Fun. For a few, fencing is a martial art, a vehicle for self-development. This is what we do. This is all that we do. We train to cultivate a strong, healthy body, an acute and agile mind, a gallant and gracious manner, and a joyful and dauntless spirit. We seek to master ourselves by mastering the sword. Once you know what it is you want to do, look for that. Try online searches, Facebook group searches, and then ask people you know. It may take some time and effort to find the right group for you. Once you find a group that looks good on paper, Next, you have to figure out what your prospective fencing group actually does and how they do it. Go watch them a few times. Do they seem organized? Is there a logical structure to the practice? How do they treat each other? Do they prioritize safety? Be sure to notice if a bunch of them are injured. If they face each other without masks and proper protective equipment, you might want to look someplace else. And if you see anyone Practicing with a sharp sword. Run, do not walk, to the nearest exit. Be sure to ask about the qualifications of the instructors. This is the most important thing. You want to know what teaching credentials the instructors have, and that's different from fencing credentials. You don't want somebody who is a good fencer. You want somebody who can teach you how to be a good fencer. What training does the instructor have in teaching? How did this person become an instructor? Did they go to a fencing master academy? Or was it just by default because they've been around the longest? Does the instructor closely supervise practice? Does the instructor pay attention to small details? Does the instructor give individual attention? Does the instructor provide good feedback and encouragement? Is the instructor a model of your goal? Without a good teacher, you're probably not going to get very far. But an excellent teacher is worth doing whatever you have to do to study with them. Ask about the financial investment too. How much do lessons cost? What else do you have to buy? Is equipment provided or do you have to sink a lot of money into a lot of gear before you even know if you like this? That can get real expensive. In our school, you don't have to buy anything up front. We provide all the equipment you need. Some advanced students do like to buy their own gear, but it's not necessary. As far as expense, we're not cheap, but we're flexible. I may be the only fencing master on planet Earth who gets paid by cash check or organic vegetables.
Once you pick a group to audition, <laughs> make a commitment. Give it a fair shot. Set a specific amount of time as a tentative trial period and give it your best. Be open, but not blind. As they say in boxing, protect yourself at all times. If something seems stupid, just don't do it. When the trial period is up, time to reassess. And now you have more information. Remember, every action you take brings you more information. And now you have the best information there is, your direct experience. Does it feel like this is going to take you where you want to go? If so, stick around and give it all you've got. If not, just say mucho gusto and adios and start the process again. Somebody once said, before you find the handsome prince, you have to kiss a lot of toads. You might not find the perfect group for you right away. Just keep trying, it's all part of the process. That's all there is to it. It's simple, but not easy. Fencing isn't for everybody, but if it's the thing for you, if it's the thing for you, don't let anything stop you. To learn more about what we call classical fencing, watch this video next.